Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect two Azure Container Apps in a Container Apps environment using ingresses. In my last video, I have shown you how to deploy a sample application to a container app. If you haven't seen that video, please go ahead and watch that one before watching this one. Now, in that video, we have deployed this container apps environment and this container app. We have deployed an ASP.NET MVC application into this container apps environment. As you can see here, this is the front end application. Now, in this video, I'm going to deploy the back end application and I'm going to show you how to connect this front end application with that back end application using ingresses. Before going forward, let's understand some theory behind it. Azure Container Apps exposes each container app through a domain name if ingress is enabled. You can enable ingresses and public access when you create the container app. When you create our container apps, this is the URL format that they will have. We have the container app environment, we have the Azure Container Apps.io and the region of the container app environment and the unique identifier of that container app environment and then we have the name of the application. A fully qualified domain name like this is assigned only if you enable an ingress. There are two types of ingresses, internal and external ingresses. As you can see here, there's one difference between the fully qualified domain names of these external and internal ingresses. We have the containerapps.io and region name and unique identifier. And in the internal ingresses, between the app name and the unique identifier, we have the internal keyword. We're gonna see how this works in a demo as well. And when you enable these internal ingresses, in a container, that container will only be visible to the other containers in the container apps environment. All right, now that we understand some theory behind this, let's do a practical demo to understand how this works. In my last video, we have deployed this simple to-do application to an Azure container app. We had this simple HTML and hard-coded to-do values. In this video, I'm gonna add a new project here and the project, it's going to be ASP.NET Core Web API. And let me name this. I'm going to call this to do app.backend next.NET 6. And I'm going to enable Docker support here as well. And the Docker OS, it is going to be Linux. Now let me create this project. All right, as you can see here, the project is in place. And we have the default controller with the forecast. I'm going to change this to to do controller. And then I'm going to get rid of all these code that we have here. Now I'm going to introduce this to do class and then a simple endpoint that will return these to do's. I know it's boring. It's just a one controller with a hard coded action method. And we're going to make this fancy in my coming videos. Now let me publish this application as well to the Docker hub. I'm going to go with Docker Hub. And now we are publishing this application as well. Now, if I go into the Docker Hub, as you can see here, the image is online and we can create a container app using this image. There's one other thing that we should do here. For that, let me go back to Visual Studio. And if I go into the front end and the controller of the front end, here, as you can see, we have the to-dos, but we have hard-coded the to-dos here as well. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to invoke the backend from this front end. For that, first, let me get rid of this code. All right. I have added this code here, basically a HTTP client that does a get request. After that, it passes the string into the to-do objects. And I have kept this URL here empty. Let me fill that now. So basically, if you think about the architecture here, this front end application talks to this back end application. For that, we need to have a URL. And we don't want the communication to go over the internet. We want the communication go through Azure Virtual Network that the container app environment has. For that, what we can do is invoke this back end API using this URL format here. Now I'm going into Azure portal 
and then we have the front end application i'm going to copy the url of this front end application and then i'm going to paste it here this is the front end and the back end that we have not created yet but i know the name that i'm going to use for it it's going to be back end and as you can see we have the container apps environment and the name of the region and the unique identifier of my environment and the name of the application here and we don't want the communication to go over the internet and that's why i'm adding this internal to the url as well to the host here and then we are going to invoke this host like this and then to do's because that is the name of my controller here the action method and that is just the default one all right now let me publish this front end as well now we have published the back end and also the front end the modified front end even though we have published it we don't have this to do back end application on azure yet let's create that one now all right now i'm in my azure portal i'm going into the resource group and then i'm going to create the back end container app i'm going to click create here all right and then the name of the container app it's going to be to do backend and we're going to go with the same container apps environment and now we can configure the image for this container for that i'm going to go with a custom image let me call it to do backend the container registry is going to be docker hub and let me add the name of the container all right and i'm going to add the latest tag as well all right and we're going to go with this cpu and memory option since we have to expose port 80 of my api container we need to enable an http ingress all right even though we need to enable an http ingress we don't want public internet users to access this backend the only consumer of this backend api should be the to do frontend application and because of that i'm going to go with limited to container apps environment and the target port it's going to be port 80 all right now let me create this container app the deployment is complete now let me go into the resource as you can see in the application url we have azure container apps.io and the name of the region and name of the container apps environment and internal between the app name and the environment identifier we have internal because we have enabled the internal ingress now if i click on it as you can see it doesn't work now if you look at ingress section here we have the settings that we have configured earlier we can see them here as well and we can change them as well now let me go into the resource group again and as you can see we have two applications we have the back end and the front end we have changed the front end right let's see what happens if i go into the front end now as you can see the front end is retrieving these values from the back end even though it is not accessible to the public internet it is accessible to our front end so this is what i wanted to show you in this video how two container apps can interact if you have any questions or comments or any suggestions please let me know down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today i will see you with another video like this soon thanks for watching